Hello and welcome to this video and review of the Engui Engine Pro 1000 watt foldable electric bike. So let's take a quick look at the spec. Straight out of the box it comes pre-assembled. All you have to do is put the front wheel on, the seat and the handlebars with the tools provided. Also included is the charger and all instructions. The bike weighs 31 kilograms with a max load of 150 kilograms and has front and rear suspension. Hydraulic disc brakes, 20 by 4 inch fat tyres, 8 speed Shimano gears and front and rear mudguards. The battery is a removable 12.8 amp lithium ion with a 40 mile range depending on settings and usage of course. With around a 5 hour charging time and a very comfortable easy release height adjustable seat. It comes with two keys, automatic front and rear light sensors including brake light. A sturdy bike rack with a 25 kilogram payload with available accessories from the website which you can find from the link in the video description below. Let's ride this bad boy. I love the pedals for easier storage. They're foldable. So for when it's folded or easier storage, just push it in and twist. Yeah, I love the way it's just so robust, almost like it's ready for any environment, be it off-road, on the road, anywhere. And it's uh, it's proven to be as good as well throughout the test drive. We've been almost everywhere on, any sur on every surface and it's, it's performed brilliantly. The lights, I'm, I'm liking the lights, they're sensitive lights, auto sensitive, so as soon as it starts to get dark, they come on. And uh, obviously it works with the brakes too. The Engui Pro 1000 kilowatt electric foldable bike. So after I've been using it now for two weeks, I've taken it um, all over the place and you've seen some of the footage. Um, yeah, remarkable bike. Solid, robust. It's heavy, yes. Uh, so I wouldn't really recommend putting it on um, a bike rack on your camper van if you do have a bike rack on the door of your camper van. Great if you've got the tow bar rack or a garage in your motorhome, perfect. I love, the, I love the fat tyres, I really do. Um, just the, the best thing about it. And you can hear them like when you're riding, you go But first, let's see it fold. Unclips, nice and easy from there. It's got a little safety catch here. Put it back. 
And then for this operation, we don't necessarily need to stand up, it will just get in the way because it's got its own little stand under there to stand the bike on once it's folded. So now, I find it easier doing it from the outside, from the side of the, uh, the catch. And there you go, it just simply folds like that and then sits on the stand under there. And then there you go, it closes like that. Nice and small. Now there's nothing to hold them together, I noticed here. I couldn't find anything anywhere in the box or whatever, but what you could do is just put a bungee cord, wrap it around and tie it, and it hold them securely together. I may be wrong, there may be something, but I couldn't find anything. And then of course your uh, stem drops too. No. And whilst the bike is folded in half, you can remove the battery. The battery's located right there. And you can just turn this key like that. And it's held in by the bar. As you turn the key, the bar goes in and the battery pulls out. But you can charge it while the battery's in there. Now I'm stuck. Okay, so initial thoughts. Do I like the bike, like dislikes, ease of use and everything? First of all, it is a big bike. It's a heavy bike at 31 kilograms, but I do like it. It's easy to ride. It don't feel as heavy as what it is when you're actually riding it. With the, one of the two keys that I'm using at the moment, you literally just switch the bike on and off like that. When it's off, the key comes out. When it's on, the key will not come out. The interface couldn't be any easier to use. It's nice and big it's nice and bright you switch it on by long pressing the power button over there and then it comes on and then you've got three modes you've got sport mode which it's in now uh, you long press the info button in the middle and then that will change it to economy economy is nice and slow nice and easy normal in normal mode that's just uh, just normal basic riding and sport you can definitely tell the difference when you go onto sport mode it's also got your battery charge level your speed and your uh, maximum and average speeds as well but it's pretty pretty easy to use you can also turn your lights on from the uh, from the button there but they do come on when it gets dark as i said before each mode has five speed settings from one to five the throttle it's only for off-road purposes but uh, feel free to uh, ask your supplier with regards to the rules of that. Um, folding it is nice and easy. Um, I like the I do like the the rack, which carries 25 kilos. A very sturdy rack. On the website, actually online, on the injury website, you can get a load of accessories like the pannier with zips and a bag and everything. It also doubles up as a a backpack, I believe. So. That's pretty good the suspension's good i do like that that you can definitely feel that working when you're in a terrain like this as i've been demonstrating over the last couple of weeks and there's plenty more details online on the website if you want to find out a little bit more about it the, the website is a, it's a good website it comes in other colors this is the black there's a nice light metallic blue and um, even a bright orange so there's a few other colors a nice gray color uh, the total payload total payload for the bike is 150 kilos which is 23 stone but overall i do like the bike like i said before i do love those fat tires they've been absolutely great in this terrain here um, and at the moment i think they're doing uh, really good deals online a whopping 
200 300 pounds off on the website at the moment it's changing all the time definitely take a look it's uh, been an interesting two weeks i've loved riding the bike i've loved testing it easy to use as i said and the seat oh the seat i forgot about the seat that is one comfortable seat and it's a quick release height adjustable comes up real high and uh yeah the gears as well eight gear shimano setup with hydraulic disc brakes